We want to welcome once again to our show Meshiv series, Rav Leib Trapper Shlita. I want to thank you for being here in our ongoing series. Rabbi Trapper, there's a notion among some people that because they fail, they feel that they have failed in certain areas or they've been, uh, shall I say, um, lacking in certain areas, that they're removed from a Kaddish Baruch Hu, that they're removed from from Hashem, that God has somehow distanced Himself from them because of their lackings or because of their inability to come closer to Him. And they've kind of given up on themselves. And in that sense, they feel because they've given up on themselves, why should Hashem care about them and that He, in fact, Chas Shalom, has given up on them. That seems to be, according to the Torah, a misguided notion. Uh, what would you say about that, and how does the Torah address that? Somebody who feels yuyush, a sense of giving up, of being lost, and distant and foreign, after everything they've done, how can they ever come and come close to a Kaddish Baruch Hu? Perez, it seems that you have some prophetic insight into the whole world, felt unshung about what's going on today. I mean, there's a, there is a, um, a feeling of a stolen alacrity in, in, in Avodis Hashem that there's no enthusiasm, there's no real cooperation, there's no really thinking about what does Hashem want from me, and it doesn't always generate simcha, even when you figure out what Hashem does want from you, this and this, well, I mean, the truth of the matter is, if I said that, I spoke, went over with you a list of things that we must do as Yidin, and live the Hashem, it's, it, at times, a bit onerous, it feels a bit onerous, it doesn't feel... The way we live today, the way, the way we live today, and then we go, go, go to mitzvahs. And you gotta get up seven thirty to go to the minion. You gotta go up by by nine. You gotta be up because it's month field. And then you gotta go shabbos. You can't do this, and shabbos you can't do that, and shabbos you can't do this, and you must do that. And you gotta can't walk here. You can't walk there. This is tchum not tchum. I mean, it's all everything you do. Every, you eat, you, you, all your life you're eating Nathan's, and now you go to Nathan's burger shop, and you smell, and the odor holds you hostage, and then you you can't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. And it doesn't seem that the Nisayan is, is equal with the um, a parallel. It's not, it's not kind of parallel with that, that our, of our, our abilities kind of almost. We, we cave in. It's the kryptonite of, of, of the Torah world, you know, all this Taibas Achila, which the Chazanishan itself has a whole issue with Taibas Achila as the worst Taiva in the world. I mean, uh, We're just gonna. I, mean, I don't want to s- get stuck on this alone, but that it, it is a very contemporary uh, illness, spiritual illness. This idea of being held hostage to one's desires is. A, is no, I mean, it was more than his desires. It's, it's to the it's to the it's to the uh, independence that people want to have from, from like burden. Like, don't tell me what to do. And then they add on sometimes with my life. And then when they add on with my life, they invite trouble because n- there's nothing about life that's theirs. I mean, could they be somebody else if they want to be their mother and mother-in-law or they want to be the, the, their brother-in-law or the, the, the neighbor wealthy man? Could they, be, they can't be change who they are. I mean, there's nothing about life that's really theirs. But we use that word, we borrow it, and it sounds right. And then the guy in this, the chorus joins him and says, right, why you my, it's my life. I can't do it. I'm, 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 I'm. And, and we use these words that are almost obscene. But what's mine about life? Do you know, repairs what's mine about life? I mean, there's nothing, as far as I know, that's mine about life. It's a gift to us from a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and um, I guess we're only temporary leases for the time that we're here. Right, that's right. We just visitors, and that's not it. So, but, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's an old saying. It's, it's, not, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a, a Torah saying. It's a, a sign of a fish that's alive that goes against the waves, with a dead fish goes with the waves. Some Salmon the, swims uh, upstream against the against the current. Right. In other words, so, so a yin who's alive, he's vibrant, he's breathing in, in and out, could go against the stream, against that flow of influence that kind of so, 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 hitting you like a barrage of, of who knows what, you know. And, and then you have to have, we have to cultivate a feeling of self-pride about that sense what the Ramos says in Simon Aleph he's also from the beginning of Shulchan Aruch to give us a component an ingredient that we must have in order to be able to fulfill all six lives of Shulchan Aruch 
of the Mishnah Bura. If you look at the six, in order to have all those halachas and the bomb and details and everything else, you have to have real one, one important component. There, there are a lot of components, but there's one very important one. You should not be embarrassed for those who laugh at you in your service of your Creator. No, well, they get, well, they, well, so they're laughing, so, so they're, they're the fools. They're the idiots, they're the fools, they're, they're, they're the losers. The person who could sit and, and, and contract his own will to the point that he's now disciplined enough to do what the Abishta wants him to do. And avoid this boy, right? I mean, we have in the Sianis that we're not going to always conquer in one day. It's just not going to, I mean, we just don't do that. You know, it's just, we have to work on ourselves like, so so hard and and it's so difficult in today's time where we, we, there's traffic of, 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 of influences that are going on that are grabbing you away from Torah. I mean, the, the word fun has become the most tumidic word in, 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 in the universe. Weapons of mass distraction. Mass distraction and mass destruction, both. Spiritual destruction and mass distraction and distracting the individual. So that's that fun is a weapon of mass distraction and mass destruction. We, we drown our spirituality in, the, in that the kind of distraction of fun. I remember when the Rosh Hashiva, Shlita, Moron Rosh Hashiva, Chaim Bolin, uh, there was a Balchu who I brought to the Rosh Hashiva to speak with him. He had an issue. He was in business, very much liach. But he felt restricted. I brought, I brought him to the Rosh Hashiva, Shlita, Ravaran Shechta, Moran Ravaran Shechta, I brought him to speak with him. And he told him, I told the Rosh Hashiva, you know, I want to speak with the Rosh Hashiva about the fact that I really feel, again, when I was not from, I kind of enjoyed that fun. I, now that I'm from, I don't have that excitement, that enthusiasm, that, that the alacrity of, you know, I don't have that, Co- cooperation with I don't feel the cooperation with me cooperating with the mitzvahs is like a, a cheerful endeavor it's like you know just kind of confinement uh, right yeah whatever, whatever it's kind of a, a sentence from, from heaven you know and I um I, I don't know so the Rosh Hashiva so should be well 120 Rosh said to him tell me we're here to talk about fun Undisciplined behavior called fun, and then he raises, raising his voice. We're here to discuss unbridled behavior, feelings, no me- meaningful, meaningless, meaningless feelings called fun. That's what we're here to discuss. It sounds like that's what the whole world is waiting for. Is waiting for. I work all year to get a bonus for, so I can have some more fun. I, I I buy myself a a yacht so I could have fun. It's plastered p- across the I billboards b- of America into the right. billboards of versus mine. Fun time America. I mean, I buy myself a yacht. I buy myself all kinds of things so I could, st- instead of giving someone who doesn't have lechem lechel, beggar lubash, instead of giving him the money, I have to have my fun. There's no word in Hebrew for fun. Interesting. It's only in Arabic there's a word for fun. It's called kef. But I, I'm not talking, we're here to talk about Betzim. We're talking about more people who, I'm just justifying a little bit, kind of Melamed Tzchus, I'm justifying. Melamed Tzchus are those who have a hard time with the way this Hashem Besimcha. But I want to share with you, I want to tell you this to you, because I think it's important that I, I share with this for you. I go through the same thing everybody does. Say for Yashar Rabbein and Tam, we always talk about this in Shah Shishi, talks about the Yimei Ahava and the Yimei Sina. There are days that we feel so much love from Hashem. It's like, no, no love in the world. We feel like so great. We feel so enthusiastic. We feel so propelled to move in, in the way of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. And there are days that you may sin. He calls it. There are days that, are, like you know, you could be a kavel. You know, working in a kavel store and feel the same thing. Because Lav only the only person who's learning in yeshiva or teaching in yeshiva or doing the way of It could be the most chulun dicker thing in the world. Like you know, selling pickles. And you could one day feel like a, you're, you're in a rotten mood and you don't feel like, what's your life? What what is my life? Okay, so I just want to—I just want to um, tell you the good news. When we talk about dying on Kiddush Hashem and dying for the sake of the Abishda and suffering for the sake of the Abishda and confining oneself in certain things and punishing oneself and contracting his his experiences because he has to do what Hashem wants him to do, it doesn't mean the Rajbah says I'm, I'm, I'm not to say anything. I can't say a thing. 
but the Halak Rajba, the Rishon, the Rajba, was the time of Bali Taisvis, the Rajba. The true is a Rajba in Halak Hay, Simon and Hay. I suggest you don't trust me. I suggest you look it up. He asked the question, it says in the Pasuk, in Tilim and Dalar, I think it is, Ki Olecha Hu Ragnu Kol Hayim. On your name, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we've been killed over and over and over again. We've been decimated. We suffered the Holocaust. We loss of parents, loss of children, loss of life's interest in life. That's the worst thing. Total, total despair. So, how can we say Alecha Hu Ragnu Kol Hayim? It can't be every day. We can't die every day. We say that Pasuk every day now. Tell them, we let you say, tell them. We die for you every day. We can't die twice. I just says, you don't, you don't understand. When a person says he's 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 prepared to do whatever it takes to be a Ebed Hashem. And you seriously, your heart and your mouth are pivotally by shavim. They both correspond with each other. They both mm-hmm. shake hands and make the same commitment. It's as if Allah Are you willing to go and do whatever it takes? You're willing to forfeit Ilam Haz in a way that it's gonna just give up so much of your own pleasures and then it's like it's like you're sacrificing everything. So you're sacrificing your life that man is made of now, um, you know, a man of busser, a man of flesh, is made with typhus and he's made with, and, I'm, and, and we can't, again, let's not make sure we, we understand this. This is not about one day accomplishment. This is like, oh, it could be 20 years, it could be 30, it could be 40 years. The Gemara talks about Blazer ben Dudaya, that and the Gemara says about him that he, he was oh, he the terrible Isur, Isurim with, with, and then the Basco came out and said, only when he died he did the tshuva to the point that Kajbah took, took, took him out the Elam Haba right away. Take, 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 as long as a person is in the process, like I said many times, Yismach Leiv Mevakshi Hashem, Rav Nachman, Tzchusi Yogan Aleinu says this, and as well, Rav Chaim Shalabin, Zich Sadek Rav Chaim says in one of his Shemuzin, Yismach Leiv, doesn't say Yismach Leiv, those who are Oyvin Hashem, Mevakshi, you're in a process, Right? Nobody wants a process. People want you to go finish college. Your parents are and get a job. Get a job. Get a job. Be a lawyer. Be an accountant. Whatever you're doing, go ahead. Be an entrepreneur. But do it. The education is only the medium. The training itself is a medium. The searching is only the medium. But in the way of Hashem, Yismach Leiv Mevak Hashem. You could fall twenty times, but you're just totally. You never stop searching. You never give up. You never stop searching. That's what the Kosh Baruch Hu tells you. Kosh Baruch Hu tells you, Yismach Leiv, be happy. Those who are searching, Mavak Sheshem, those who are still in the process. Yiddish Kaid is a process-oriented religion. It's not an achievement-oriented religion. I once said, Pshat, and I told this to, to many Tamid Chacham in the Gemara, Baruch it says, Chishay V'lasayis Mitzvah, a person, Chishay V'lasayis Mitzvah, thought about doing Mitzvah, Bananas, <coughs> Under extenuating circumstances, he could not t- perform the mitzvah. Mala olava kosev kilo so. The Torah considers it as if he did it. What does that mean? If he did? He didn't do it. What do you mean? The Torah considers it as if he did it. What, what is this? Make believe? Not believe mitzvahs. It's make believe. I, I thought of the answer. Um, an answer. I'm taking the answer. It's an answer. You could, you're, you're entitled to have your own answer. It's the same question. He's my, I mean. Um, the Gemara says, When you are under the rest and you couldn't do all the rest, or extending the because you couldn't do the mitzvah, you did it. Why? Because the only thing a person could do in a mitzvah is make him his mind to do it. Because you could say, I'm going to shul this morning, and then you get hit by a car. You're not going to shul. You could say, You're going to shul this morning, you get, you get, you get st- stomach aches, you can't, you get pain, you can't go. You could go, want to go learn, and then. You, so I'm saying, it's, it's, yeah, you something that breaks in your house and you can't go out of the house, whatever. I mean, think really, gazillion things can happen to interfere with your life. So all you, all one could do is make up his mind, her mind, she can that she wants to do the right thing, the mitzvah. She wants to go here to Kishayfa. She wants to go here to shake a little less. He wants to go take a little less. 
and then that's it. It's, that's all. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need to do your mitzvah. That's your mitzvah to make the right the, choice. The, to make a to choice. Cho- to make the choice. Exactly. The bechira is the mitzvah. Who knows if you're going to do it? I mean, who, 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 how can you a mitzvah? Hashem, I'm going to do the mitzvah, but nobody could. You have no guarantee you're going to do the mitzvah. Many people died before they were able to do the mitzvah. Anyway, so putting that aside, so you, now that we know that the choice is the mitzvah, that should be chizik for you. That you don't have to always accomplish all the mitzvahs if something happens <coughs> under duress or under, under extenuating circumstances. So, Akash Baruch Hu says like you did the mitzvah. But Rabbi Trapper, what you're saying is that people sometimes feel if they don't do that, they can't do it. It's all or nothing, and therefore, why even try and they just give up, and if they've given up, they feel, well, if I've given up, so certainly Hashem, Kos is giving so that's up. that's the point I'm saying. That's the point I'm going to say now in a minute. Exactly. We're going to, I mean, first of all, I just said, now, now that we said that, agreeing to do the mitzvah is enough. The choice of doing the mitzvah is enough to be considered you're doing the mitzvah. Given that one follows through, but if they couldn't, the fact that they made the choice but were unable to doesn't detract from, exactly. from the mitzvah. In fact, it's if he was only if he was able to and didn't do it, that's when a kosher baruch demands him completely the mitzvah. But if he's not able to, so then because he made, made the choice. Okay, there. Let's just embrace each other emotionally for a second. Say, t- tell us what Paul says and tell him in Yirmiyo. Yaakov in no, let's all know. Together we should know this. Ace Tsari Yaakov means it's a time of pain and tsaris trouble for Kleisrael. We men not Yivasheya. But it will be simple shot is and from from them, from that, from those tsaris will be saved, spared. But Gedal Yisrael would say, No, it means Ace Tsari Hil Yaakov, it's a, t- a time of tsaris trouble for Kleisrael. Umimena, and because of those tzaras, and for, with those tzaras, it'll become the Yeshua. The tzara will become the Yeshua in and of itself. We're not going to see it so quickly. We can't understand it. I mean, intellectually, we can't, how, can, how could something like that be? If somebody would have said, if somebody would, I'm, I'm not saying it's the truth. I'm not saying it, it is true. But if somebody would have, with a godly Yeshua told you that the whole Eretz Yisrael happened because of the Holocaust. After the Holocaust, the infiltration of Eden, Eretz Yisrael, Mamish, Went back to Eretz Kodesh. It was a messianic experience in a certain, certain way. I'm not. I'm not Chazal suggesting that that is one as a preparation for that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if, if we would have a Novi Ben Novi to come and tell us that, so we would say, "Wow, Ace Tzara Hiliyakev." But when we meant it, from that Tzara comes the Yeshua. There are many examples. I'm not going to go into all the examples now. But it's tomorrow and like you and like from Allah to him. It goes deep in the, in the depth of your being, this this thought. Don't like it's not over till it's over. It's not over till the fat lady sings. It's not over till it's over. It's, it's Taurus, it's aggravation, but wait, 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 we'll see what happens. Wait. I saw enough in my life, particularly in the last eight, ten years, I saw enough people who thought that they were controlling things. They got lost, they got hurt. <coughs> There's a very penetrating expression in the Yerushalmi, and I'll end with this. Sechazah Brachis in the ninth parak. Rabshim ben Lakish Aymer, Bosa Abedab, human being, Yeshle Karav, he has somebody as a friend. If he's wealthy, he likes him. <coughs> Not wealthy, he kind of keeps him a little bit of distance, you know, but he keeps the real wealthy ones. Of his friends close to him, friends, relatives, whatever they may be. I see it so often in our society today. Let me just finish this. Imhu Ashir, he bows to him, he worships him, he does everything to him. And if he's a poor, poor man, like forget about it. You don't even like Gairus him. Not even he's not not even on your on, on your mind. Not even on your. On your globe, it's not there. It doesn't exist. ends off. Alafilu Yisrael. Nesunin Even if Yisrael is in the last the abyss, the abyss, they're there in spirituality. Kadosh calls them. Achai, 
Rei, my brother and my dearest friend. That's how close we are to the Abishta in the worst time. We need just to call out, scream out, to heal him out, do something to just hang on to that Tate in Himmel. That's what we need to do and recognize that, that is really the best chizik that we could do. Find ourselves in a difficult situation. Remember, even if a person is is in Sunin Bidyaita Tachtaina, he's in the last right, 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 right in the abyss of spirituality. Kabochu still calls you Achai Bereai, my brother, my dearest friend. Thank you so much for listening. And Mr. Shem, we should see each other soon as we start preparing for another period now in the calendar year that's the three weeks, which is five weeks away. Is uh, three weeks? Is maybe five weeks? Shabbos Maybe even like uh, yeah, maybe if it's five weeks. Shabbos B'Tamaz. Believe it or not, it's already on the corner. And, and um, Tisha B'Av, and then we're looking at El. The time is flying. I think the Rebbe Lapian would say when the Mish after Vorchem Tamaz, he would start shivering like the Mamish. He would say, because the El is coming. Tamaz, Tamaz, Av, and then El. So on Shuvah Magid. He fought the Yamadin, the Yamadin. And hopefully we'll spend this time properly and join you again, Rabbi Tropper, yeah, and be able to talk further about I look these forward to seeing you again and talking with you, talking with you, sharing with you again, Mr. Shem. Thank you so much for listening.